be about newborn must-haves. I am a baby nurse and I'm always getting questions about newborn must-haves. So today I've prepared a list for you guys. So at any point in time, if you see me looking down, I am going over my list. I am going to divide this video into three sections. I'm going to do baby's furnitures or equipments, then I'm going to go products, then I'm going to go baby's garments, just to be a little bit organized and so that I'm not all over the place. So the first product I'm going to review today is the Snoo Smart Sleep Bassinet. I don't know if you guys have heard about the Snoo Bassinet, but this bassinet is supposed to be the holy grail of bassinets. I have the privilege to be currently working with one right now. And so I know you guys can see a crib beside me, but there's a snoo right there also. We decided that we were going to try the snoo because the baby that I'm currently working with had this 3 a.m. bump in the mornings that he would wake up and not want to go back to sleep. And so we said, you know what, we're going to try this snoo bassinet and see if it does what they say. And I have to say, the baby is now waking up at 6 a.m. in the mornings, so... It stands to its reputation. So, the Snoo bassinet is supposed to be a super high-tech bassinet that has sounds and motion to mimic the womb. And so, it comes with three sleep sacks, small, medium, and large, which ranges from zero to six months. You attach the sack to clips in the bassinet and strap your baby in so your baby is flat and secure in the bassinet. Turn on the button and then the Snoo bassinet works with the mood that your baby is in. It, it, it brings off the motion and sound based on the mood that your baby is in. And this is supposed to have your baby sleeping through longer stretches through the night or through the night rather. So um, the, the baby that I'm working with right now, he's not sleeping through the night. He wakes up one time during the night, but he's sleeping for definitely longer stretches. So I have to say this bassinet definitely works. It is worth the hype in my opinion. This bassinet usually retails for 1200 plus on the website which is Happy Baby website. But I did some research and I found the Snoo bassinet on Amazon and it's relate it's um retailing on Amazon for 900 plus. So I would say it goes anywhere from 900 plus to 1200 plus for the Snoo bassinet. Really love this bassinet and I recommend it if you can afford it. So the other product that I'm going to talk about is another bassinet. And this bassinet is the Halo bassinet. It's a cheaper version of a snoo. It's nowhere, it's not a snoo, but it's a cheaper bassinet that has good features nevertheless. It comes with a sound machine. It has a night light on it. It vibrates. And so this is a bassinet that I've used before and I also really like this product. Let's move on to the Nuna Pippa Baby Car Seat. I love this car seat simply because the car seat is light. You're already carrying a baby in a car seat. Why do you need your car seat to be heavy? Most car seats weigh 12 pounds plus, 12 or 13 pounds. The Nuna Pippa baby car seat weighs seven plus pounds. It is a very attractive car seat and it's light, so why not get it? It also fits into a lot of the baby strollers, like a lot of different brand name baby strollers, so it's perfect. I'm currently using a Greco swing and I use the Greco swing all the time. And I have to tell you, Babies are way, I, I think babies love the Greco swing way more than the Mamaru, and this is just my opinion. Um, the Greco swing, it's a definitely cheaper alternative. It's way cheaper. It retails for a less than $50, or if it's $50, it's $50 something, but it's definitely less than $60 for the Greco. Some of them have, uh, it's a combination, some of them have a bouncer and a swing, so the bouncer you can take off, and then you can attach it when you want to turn it into a swing. Really, really love this product. I've used it quite a few times. It's good um, quality. It has good instrumentals, like it has actually has good instrumentals on it, like songs are sounds that I enjoy listening to it also has sounds that mimics nature and so I really really love this swing it's reasonable and I definitely recommend the Greco baby swing or baby swing slash bouncer it's you can 
you can research, do your research and choose which one would be better for you. If you have any intentions of breastfeeding, you might want to get yourself a breastfeeding pillow, especially if you're a new mom. Uh, it definitely helps with the process of breastfeeding. It makes it way more easier. So I definitely recommend getting you a breastfeeding pillow. Uh, the next product I'm going to move on to is baby bathtubs. There is a, quite a few baby bathtubs out there. The one that I like using, excuse me, it's simple, it's easy. The one that I like using is um, a plastic bathtub which has a swing in it. I really love the fact that it has the swing because when you're giving a baby a bath, they can be very slippery. And so the swing allows you to just put the baby there of course, which you definitely monitor the baby. Never leave your baby in a bath unattended, please and thank you. And so your baby won't slip from your hand. And I really, really love it. The fact that it has that, the, the little swing. I love this bath. It's easy to dry and all of that. So definitely recommend this bath for babies. Another product that I'm gonna go through right, review right now is a baby electric nail file. I love this nail file. I love it. Everywhere I work, I definitely recommend this nail file. Baby's nails are very thin and babies don't like to get manicures. They really don't. So those little white thin emery boards that we usually use to file their nails, they don't like it. It makes it harder. It makes it longer to, to, to give them a manicure. They really don't like it. I promise you. Getting this baby electric file is going to change the whole manicure process for you. It's fast. It's easy. And it's safe. It really doesn't cut your baby's fingers or anything. Trust me. Try this product. And I promise you, you will not regret buying this electric baby file. You're going to need a baby bottle warmer, whether you're using breast milk or formula. Breast milk, if you're pumping it, obviously, or formula, you're going to need, uh, it's good to have a bottle warmer. Bottle warmers are not must-have, but it's the easier way to go because you could always just warm the bottle with warm water. But it's, it's the easiest way to go, especially during the night. So it's a very good equipment to have, a baby bottle warmer. Um... Wipes warmer are also not must-haves, but because people change diapers all the time without a warm wipe. But it's very comfortable for the baby, so I like using them, and you can also try it. Uh, that's a wipes warmer. Um, then I'm going to touch on bottles. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of bottles out there. You're going to have to do your research. You're going to have to choose what bottle suits your need or needs. The bottle that I like using is Dr. Brown's bottle. It's anti-gas, it's anti all the anti-stuff. I love the Dr. Brown's. It's been around for a while, it's safe. A lot of moms nowadays, they don't want to use the Dr. Brown bottle because they say it's too much parts to wash. Okay, I get it. Um, I've used them without putting in that middle piece, the, little, the blue piece in the middle, and it doesn't leak. People use it and says that if without a middle piece it leaks, I use it and it really doesn't leak. So I I recommend Dr. Brown bottles, especially for the fact because they have different ranges in nipples. That's one thing that I really, really love. You don't know what kind of flow your baby is going to adopt to when you're feeding your baby. Your baby doesn't have to be a preemie baby to get preemie baby nipples. So when you're buying nipples for your baby, try to go at the smallest nipple size because your baby can just be a slow eater and you don't want to have a heavy flow feeding your baby because your baby will choke on the feed. So that's one thing I like about the Dr. Brown. A lot of times when I start off with newborn babies, when I'm bottle feeding them, I use the preemie nipples even if the baby is not a preemie baby. And what happens to when you feed your baby with a slower flow nipple and you're also breastfeeding it it's less chance of giving your baby nipple confusion because your baby has to suck from that slow flow nipple as they would be sucking from the breast versus a heavy flow nipple that is just flowing down in their mouth so that's one thing that i really like about the dr brown they have a lot of variation of nipples versus other bottle brands i also like the comatoma bottle um the nipple mimics the breast and so I really like it for that reason. The only thing I don't like about the Comatomo, it's a very squishy bottle. And so if you put it on a flat surface, 
chances are it might tilt over because of the way the bottle itself is it's a very squishy material and so it might tilt over but if that's not a problem for you you can also try the comatoma bottles i love those bottles also they're very good bottles to use another bottles that people like is the event because it's glass and a lot of people are switching from plastic bottles to the glass bottles because it's more sanitary and they last longer the only thing i don't like about the event bottles is that they they don't have a variation of nipples their zero flow nipples is very fast flowing and so if your baby sucks slowly your baby might choke on those nipples so you might want to save them for older stages okay so that's that's the only thing i'm going to say about bottles any other thing you need to know about bottles i'm sorry but you're going to have to do some more research on bottles okay let's move on to baby wipes the best baby wipes to use is the baby water wipe or is water wipes the best wipes to use for your baby is water wipes on newborns the less product is best their skin is already so soft delicate pure less is best you don't use scented wipes on your baby please don't they don't need all of that stuff so water wipe is the best wipe to use okay uh, I am gonna okay so let's move on to products which I think I already did, speaking about the wipes, but products. If you don't mind using products with a little scent and stuff like that, my one of my most um, favorite product to use is the Honest brand. I find where it's very mild, it's very calm, it has calming effects. So I use the lotion, the body wash, and the shampoo. Really, really like um, the Honest brand. The other brand that I like, I like the Avino brand and that's another thing. There's a lot of brand name products out there for babies. You're going to have to do your research. Do your research and find what works best for you. People that don't like using products on their baby, the alternative stuff that I would recommend you to use are better yet, brand name products with all those scented stuff. If you don't like using that, you can just use plain good old coconut oil organic coconut oil it works good for baby's skin you can put it in their hair you can put it all over them coconut oil is going to moisturize their skin because baby needs babies need something to moisturize their skin it's a totally different environment out, out here for them and so their skin can get dry you need to moisturize your baby's skin so you can use coconut oil if you, you're not into all those brand name products you can also use olive oil yes you can great natural products to use okay um, I'm just gonna go over some simple little stuff that you're gonna need. I'm gonna go over them really, really quick. It's good for you to have Vaseline in your house, especially if you are having a boy baby and you're gonna do a brace, you're gonna need a whole bunch of Vaseline, preferably the tube ones. You should also get gripe water for your baby. You can't use it until two weeks after the baby is born, but you should have it in your house, gripe water. You should also have Mylocon. You should also, Mylocon is, uh, it's like a gripe water, but it's not watery, but it does the same thing um, for um, hiccups, gas, all of that. So I like using Mylocon because a lot of babies don't agree with the gripe water, so I use the Mylocon instead, and I like it. Uh, you should also have baby Tylenol. So these are just simply little products that you should you find yourself you're gonna need. So just have them even if you're not gonna need them right away. Just have them in your house. Okay, another product that I really 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 like using is Aquifer. I love this is what I use on babies' bums. I love Aquifer. I don't like, I just explained to you, less is best. Aquifer is very mild. It prevents your baby from getting baby rash. Okay, so when you're changing the baby diaper, you just put on your aquifer, put on whatever brand Pampers you want to use, do your research on Pampers and choose what's best for your baby, and then use your aquifer. And you can also use the aquifer all over your baby too. Um, you want to get a desitin just to have, but if your baby doesn't necessarily have a rash on his bum, or his or her bum, you don't have to use the desitin, but it's good to have just in case the baby gets a rash, then you can use it. There's a, a lot of different rash creams out there. I don't really like using them because I find where it's just too much product. So simply put, I like Aquifer and Desitin. Use Aquifer on a daily basis, Desitin as needed. 
you should get yourself a sound machine you're gonna find where this is gonna help you so much when you're trying to get that baby to sleep I am using a sound machine right now that I really really love don't remember the name of it but I will leave a link below and I'll leave it on the screen um, I love this sound machine it's very neat clean looking it doesn't look like a baby product but it is and you can sync it to your phone you can download the app and you can program this sound machine on your phone so you can turn on the sound machine while you're laying in your bed you don't have to physically go over there and turn it on really really love it <laughs> definitely recommend it okay so let's move on to baby's garments simply put simply put babies like simplicity you don't need all that extra stuff you buy all this pretty fancy hard to put on clothes it's only for you and as a matter of fact you might find yourself not even liking to put on these clothes because babies poop a lot and you're gonna have to change them all the time and if you're gonna have to pull a zip pull a button pull a hook to change your baby you're gonna get annoyed onesies is your best option you are just get you some onesies when you're buying your baby's clothing don't get overjoyed and buy over excited and buy too much baby clothes it's gonna be a waste of your money because babies grow fast your baby's only gonna be in a size for two weeks to two months tops and then you're gonna have to go a size up so don't get overjoyed and buy too much too much of one size clothing you're not gonna end up your baby's not gonna end up wearing most of them you're gonna end up losing your money you can buy cute little onesies for your baby and that's it because you are gonna need to constantly be changing your baby and so it's just easy definitely recommend onesies you're gonna need swaddles there's a whole bunch of swaddle brands out there um, the ones that I use the most is Adam and Aiden's swaddle blankets you get you a lot of swaddle blankets because you're gonna need them you can do your research on brands too and see which one works better for you um, they also have the velcro swaddles which are like the pre-made swaddles you can get those if you want a lot of people just rather using the swaddle blankets um, you're also gonna need going over real quick you're also gonna need bibs for feeding your baby you're gonna need burp burp cloths um, for after you're done feeding your baby you're gonna need hats you're gonna need a lot of baby hats because depending especially on the weather if it's winter time you're definitely gonna need a lot of baby hats you're gonna need baby socks you're gonna need baby's rag you're gonna need baby's mittens and so those are you're gonna need baby's blankets so those are all the important baby garments that I can think of right now off the top of my head that you're gonna need um, if it's winter time you're gonna need a lot of those babies under sh um, shirts or onesies I rather the ones that pin under instead of the shirt ones it's just easier to use so I rather those I'll leave it I'll show you what it looks like and so this is all that I have for today I hope this video was informative I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and if you know anyone that is having a baby please share this video with them thank you guys for watching